the final night in the East Midlands and Clayton and Nina are hoping to impress with an evening of French fine dining. Deep fried ice cream? That's about as French as I am. We made our ice cream. That is going to all need to be homemade from scratch. Yeah. It sounds quite like it would be quite exciting. A little bit of a yin and a yang. You've got the cold and you've got the hot together. I'm not worried about the ice cream at all. I'm really not worried about the ice cream. You sure? Yeah. Good. Nina adds vanilla to cream and sugar, then in go egg yolks. Can you just stir that, please? I think I was meant to whisk them up before I put them in. Shut up, shut up. Don't panic. Shut up, shut up. Oh. I am so hoping that that comes out a mess, because that will really annoy them. Is that getting lumpy? Shut Man, what are you doing? Oh, my goodness. D don't give me scrambled egg to my goddamn visitors. You didn't stir this well enough, that's what it was. Ah, it was I thought it'd be my fault. Not the fact that you didn't whisk the egg before you put them in. No, I kind of forgot that bit. <laughs> you make scrambled egg in ice cream. <laughs> I've never messed this ice cream up ever, 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 ever. Until now. There's the scrambled egg, look. <gasps> what is that? A mess. <laughs> After some emergency sieving, the eggy lumps are removed. I reckon they're going to bung it in some batter, then whack it in the deep fat fryer. Close. They're going to bung it in phyllo pastry, along with homemade jam, then whack it in the deep fat fryer. Jam and ice cream are wrapped in shop-bought phyllo pastry, then bunged in the chip pan. I just want them a nice, nice brownie colour. I'm impressed. Yeah, I'm impressed too, baby. I'm impressed. Deep-fried ice cream, everyone. Enjoy, guys. Very nice. I made the rhubarb and raspberry yeah, yeah. as a jam. I didn't taste any rhubarb whatsoever. No. You did make the ice cream yourself, did I you did. say? Without yeah. an ice cream maker. Maker, well done. How did you make the pastry? I got that in a box. Uh, okay. <laughs> the food's had a good reception, everybody's upbeat, so fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. So Clayton and Nina need 26 or more to win outright. We really enjoyed the night. Clayton and Nina really did well. And for that, we want to give them... 15. 15. Despite all the bling, there wasn't any zing. So Did we're going to give Clayton and Nina... Steady on there! It's over to the hosts to reveal the results. In third place... <laughs> ..is Karen and Irina. Yay! In joint first place is Lee and Yay! Mei Mei oh. and Clayton and <laughs> Karen and Irina scored Nina and Clayton a 10, giving them a joint total of 25. I feel absolutely ecstatic. Yay! 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 It's not third place, it's nah. second. So Who cares? second the best. Who cares? So, so we're second the best. Yeah. Yay! Do you come joint first winning? I do, because we... We didn't win. But we did. We, we didn't did. win. All right, I'll keep this. It's another problem. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> And finally, in her stress-free menu, it's on to her main course, Pasta La Vista with Bourrevoz. Pasta La Vista with what? Boa, Bori, what? What's that say? Bourrevoz. Boeriwaras. I'm picturing a shaved pig with an apple in its mouth on a grill, getting on a spit, getting turned around. Nowhere near. Pasta La Vista, that's like Asta La Vista. Wish I knew what movie that was from. Think Arnie. Terminator? Yes! Terminator! Very good! Robot pasta? You've spoiled it now. The reason why I chose the meat is because I love this meat. I love the sausage. It looks a bit snaky. Um, it's got loads of flavours in it. Woo! Maybe it's a bit of Zimbabwean incorporated into the pasta, a little bit, little bit of a twist. Christine? It's originated from South Africa. It basically translates to farmer's sausage. I'm from Zimbabwe. I speak Ndebele, and so that is very similar to Southern African language called Zulu, and it's just a dish that we've always cooked in the house. It isn't a bad choice. It's just more of a safe choice, so you have to zhuzh it up a little and make sure you add some razzle-dazzle, otherwise it's just pasta I could have made at home. You seem very chilled. Are you stress-free? 
just literally relax to be honest this is no stress in the kitchen now right now the juices are coming out of the casing so that's nice it's just going to envelop the whole sausage. Does that sound chefy? Not really. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oops. Lovely. I planned it to be more elegant than that. She'll chop it up and stir it through her pasta later. Easy peasy. Sausage squeezy. <laughs> Back at the table, Christine's getting her rocks off. When I was in school, I, I used to play the drums. Oh, okay. For a rock band. For a rock Yo! band! In school. <laughs> this is during my emo phase, by the way. I would love, love to see I know, I know, it's so embarrassing. Was it like punk rock, rock music? Punk rock. So how did you start off? Or what was your oh, phase? Oh, it was in church. Oh, so we're learning yeah. Yeah, drums go. in church. Wow. And then I saw posters, we need a drummer at school. So mm. I'm like, okay, whatever. Sick. That's so nice. yeah. I'm gonna be in a punk band, eat chew off rats, heads, spit them out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. It's definitely quite fun to let people know um, the things that I do and more about me. With her starter gaining mixed reviews, it's on to the main course. Christine gets her sausage out. Mmm, delicious. And slathers in the ricotta and spiced sauce. See, as Z is a half Italian, he is one to impress um, in terms of this pasta dish. Sheesh. Papa do it right, you know. Time will tell. Dinner is served. Bone up the teeth. Well, absolutely. Great. Pasta la vista with Borovos. What's the sausage called, Ian? It's called Borovos. Is it Zim? It's South African. South wow. African? It's South African. OK. It's a combination of pork and beef. Normally, we eat it with maize meal, which is similar to fufu or that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, Sima. Yeah, Sima, semolina, whatever, whatever. Mm. But yeah, you eat it with your hands. Sausage was divine. Lots of flavour, lots of spices. Small portion. I thought, let me put small portions, because I know people can be hit and miss with it. But, you know, I just want you guys to taste it at least. I would have liked more sausage, to be honest. Really? Yeah. There was not enough sausage, and I like sausage. I didn't like the main course. It was bland. I think pasta and ketchup would have been better. Yeah. Do you cook your pasta with butter? Whoa, I put oil. Mm. Am I supposed <laughs> to put butter? This is the resident Italian here. Apologies. Oh, okay. I mean, oh wow. Sometimes pasta pasta me, with butter it's a little bit dry. Yeah. But. I like the flavours you infuse a bit, but just as an Italian, I just have like my extra well, virgin olive oil and butter in there. Infused. To find out that she doesn't cook it with butter, I don't think my Italian family would be happy to hear that. As her mane is beginning to wane, Christine takes it up a notch. When I was younger, I liked to um, imitate things. She used to do bare impressions. Oh, what else can you do? La 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 la. <laughs> Shakira, now that was a shocker. I thought it was Shakira coming out of her body. I thought she is she being possessed by Shakira. Or did she summon up some Shakira demon or something? We got to see a lot more of Christine's personality tonight. Christine is quirky and her comedy comes across differently. I love it. Can anyone? Do an impression of somebody opposite you. Do you know what? Christine, I love these flowers. Yeah! Oh, they're amazing. Yeah. They're amazing. Yeah. I love them. I love them. I, love, I, I just love them. I, I, I can't say any more. Yeah. I just absolutely love them. That's yeah. so good. <laughs> yeah, I think I nailed it, didn't I? <laughs> I think you did. Be careful when you do me, though. Oh, gosh. <laughs> so, you know, I don't really know how to cut right. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I really tried my hardest, like, you know what I mean? I really tried, but... I didn't no. you a cockney. <laughs> <laughs> Being a cockney all night, all week, like. Oh. <laughs> I can't do a cockney accent. She says a bit of a cockney, I don't know. I kind of got a cockney vibe. I don't know if I've done it right or wrong. Sha, <laughs> there is so much starch on my plate right now. <laughs> Now, 
Z's impression of me. I can't even be mad at that. I mean, I am a big character. Easy. That's King right there. Woo, child. <laughs> Sorry, Jane. <laughs> Christine, we've got a question. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Did you make this pasta from scratch? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, my name's ZZ, do you know what I mean? I'm ZZ the Pharaoh, yeah, let's get lit, let's lit. It's all about the elevation, do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> elevation. You're a king, you're a queen. Just wear your crown, man. Wear your <laughs> crown, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I thought that Christine was a comedian or something as her day job because she's so funny and so subtly funny and there's just, like, ingrained in her soul. Very funny woman. So the atmosphere in the group's really good. You know, it really feels really positive. I think we've really got to know each other well. Blazing Bajan wings with macaroni pie and Carlita's Caribbean coleslaw. Bajan, Bajan wings? Bajan. I can't read this. <laughs> Is that blazing because they're sort of like charcoaly or blazing because it's going to have a lot of spices and things? Blazing because obviously I'm in the blazing squad. And Bajan because I'm part Bajan. You said it. Marcel begins by preparing the chicken. I wonder how spicy the Bayesian wings are going to be. I said they're going to be blazing, so I feel like people need to be prepared for a bit of a kick. Oh dear! Next, Marcel adds a seasoning mix. You want to give it a lot so that it covers every bit of the chicken. Can you hear the calypso going on in the background? I can hear that. Shh. Oh, yeah! It's coming out of the pot into my chicken. There you lose me. On goes pepper, parsley and chilli powder. Can I handle more spice? Can I handle more? Spice. Yeah. Uh, stop looking at me. It's not about the hot seat. It's about the hot wing. Time for a mix. I treat this chicken the way I treat my women. It needs to feel the love. Oh, wow. I, I can't even stop touching them. Yeah. Shall we give you guys um, a little moment? I feel like this is marinated to perfection. Marcel will cook his well-fondled chicken later tonight. Onto the macaroni. Everybody who comes from there or who descends from there always has a take on the kind of dishes that they do. So, you know, one person's macaroni pie is going to be like, yeah, but it's not like the way I do my macaroni pie. Well, Marcel's doing his macaroni pie from a packet mix. I am adding extra cheese, so technically, I am making my own cheese sauce. <laughs> well, if you say so. Next, he cooks the pasta. If anyone was to say that my macaroni was pony, oh, they'd get to know me. So what's it like, Marcel? Any good? Wow. That is the real deal. There's definitely nothing phony about my macaroni. Nice lyrics. I can literally rhyme anything with anything. How about orange? See, nothing really rhymes with orange, but you, if the way that you say it, you can make orange rhyme with Porridge. Porridge. In a, in, in a rap, it'd work. Porridge, yeah, it works. Marcel will finish the macaroni later tonight. And it's on to Corletta's coleslaw. Who's Corletta? Maybe it's like a family friend? No, it's his mum. Under Corletta's watchful eye, Marcel chops and grates cabbage, carrots and onion. You're crying. I'm actually crying. Oh, oh. oh there you go. Thanks, mum. You're welcome. Stir it up. After stirring the whole thing up, Little darling, stir it up. In goes salad cream. Does it pass the mumsy test? Very good. Very good. Mm. This is going to blow people's faces off, and I cannot wait to see the reactions. Do you know what I'm saying? It's going to be Bruce Lee kicking chicken. <sighs> so let me go and like. Have a look what the main's looking like. I can smell something. Uh-oh. Oh, what the... Oh. They're, like, cooked to a char. I'm sorry for swearing, but I'm just really off. I'm really hungry. I don't know where the food is. Mm. It smells a bit weird. I can't serve this to people, because this is just disgraceful. Oh, dear. Time to fess up. All right, guys. Bad news. What? How bad? I put my chicken on grill instead of Now that is ashy. You said it was blazing. It's Ali. blazing. No, that's too blazing. That's too hot. I feel like I'm a bad cook, but I hopefully I'm not that bad. 
Rocky B of Blazing Squad rocks up with chicken. I'm so depressed. That has just been cremated. <sighs> ah. <sighs> Cheers, guys. Cheers. All right. Oh, I just... Your heart goes out to him because you know how he feels. Yeah. AJ? I mean, you can't make that up, can you? I'll put the grill on instead of the oven. I hope you got a plan, Marcel. Hello. Yo, Melo, I beg you go to the chicken shop and get me, like, 20 wings. Good job, Blazing Squad, we're en route. The Bayesian wings are dead out. They have been burnt to a crisp. All right, yeah, get this sorted, you know what I mean? All right, brother, I love you, All that right. man. Oh, I wish Blazing Squad delivered my chicken. Here they are, all grown up and bearing gifts. Oh, you man are lifesavers, bro. <laughs> oh my God, is this what? the Blazing Squad? <laughs> oh! <laughs> I can't believe Blazing Squad were in the house. Actually, I can believe it. I prophesized it. But it's amazing. You may as well, Marcel. Nothing else is going to plan. This is Blazing Squad. With? Yes, with? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, it didn't play. This is Crushed. wild. <laughs> See you at the crossroads, crossroads, crossroads. See you at the crossroads, crossroads, crossroads. It reminded me of when I was a little girl performing in front of my brothers and sisters in the living room. Who's that? Get off the train. Hey, Rich, chuck it with a ball with a rain. Why take that man's chain? No more trouble, mate. It was great to see the Blazing Boys. Squad. It's a little bit surreal than being in the living room. Isn't there about 50 members of Blazing Squad? And I swear I could only count four in the living room. So I don't know where the rest of them are. Maybe they're, like, stuck at a crossroads somewhere or something. <laughs> <laughs> That's a memorable night right there. Burnt chicken or not. <laughs> you like, lifesavers are lovely. Yeah! The squad have come through. They brought me a bunch of wings. I'm about to resurrect this main course because it was dead in the ground. Now I'm lifting it out. Well, fingers crossed. The macaroni pies are topped with cheese before cooking. Um, this time, I'm staying in the kitchen. Just to keep an eye on what's going on, do you know what I mean? Like, good idea. Hey. Yes. With everything plated, Marcel's back on track. Take away wings with macaroni pie and Corlita's Caribbean coleslaw. Let's try and save this dinner party, eh? Things can only get better. Yeah, it's finally here. Oh, oh. oh not. <laughs> oh my God. I'm having a mare. Come on, contain yourself, man. Contain yourself. Give me, just give me that. Give me that. Who is Colita? Colita is my mother. Oh, your mum's coleslaw is nice. I've had mac and cheese all over the world, and that was a really nice mac and cheese. I'm not going to lie, it's working. Mmm. This is really nice. Beautiful. His take on it is a lot different to my mother's take on it, but still good. That's really spicy. What's hot? The coleslaw. The coleslaw is like spicy. Burning my mouth. Are you really, seriously? Yeah. Yeah, I was like gagging at one point. I was. It was like hit the back of my throat. Like, uh. how did you make the mac and cheese? You go to the supermarket and buy a sachet of cheese sauce. Mm. Get some milk. Add like like stir that up. Then you get like I've got red Leicester and cheddar cheese. Mm -hmm. Sprinkle that on top of it. So you're giving me sachet of mac and cheese and no pie. That was disappointing. Back at the table, the group are discussing career low points. It was really hard for me to think of what my most embarrassing moment would be. Mm. And I think I've literally produced it today. I know what was embarrassing for you. What? First day of Love Island. When you was on, the, when you was on Love Island and you didn't get picked first day, surely. No, what? It was embarrassing, but... You come on camera, <coughs> you're saying, I'm tall, I'm dark, yeah. I'm handsome. It's pretty true. Cut to step forward if you fancy Marcel. No one stood forward. No! Oh, literally. literally. No, no. He's had a really hard day today. So Let's I'm not saying, make it worse. It's oh, like that's bad. bad. <laughs> you were funny loving it. Oh, yeah. He was embarrassed. He was embarrassed. I thought it'd be funny, but he didn't really take it well. It was something that I, that, that, that I kind of forgot about because of how well I'd done on that show in the, in, in the end, do you know what I mean? I was the first boy on there and I got to the final of the show. He was everyone's best friend. You friend-zoned yourself. I don't right? think I really friend-zoned myself, though. You I, did, I, no, no, I, I'm more just... I mean, like, I was a viewer, so kind of... Yeah, but I was there. I mean, yeah, but... That's the difference, though, Yeah, but it? that's how it came across. That was so awkward, like, even for me. 
there was like a frosty feeling in the room. I looked around the table and media was like, <sighs> Anthea was like, they were shocked. And AJ was just creasing. She was laughing her head off. I've got nothing against AJ, she's my mate. But she did, she did try to get me. Like, I'm, I'm not happy about that. It's the fourth night in Sussex with solicitor Hassan treating his guests to a night of vegan Asian flavours in an attempt to win the £1,000 prize. I am confident that my plant-based Asian taste sensation will floor my guests. Well, if that's the result you're going for... Hassan gently fries his gyoza. Getting uh, wafts of a win from this pan. Rod's pan, is it? I want them a little bit brown, a little bit like my jacket. Mmm, corduroy gyoza, lovely. They look better before they went in. Uh, they're kind of losing their shape a bit. Hassan releases his shape-shifting starter from the pan. Look at that. It's like a kite. Yes, a very tiny one. He floods the gyoza with his dipping sauce. Forgot your little bowls, did you? And just to finish the whole thing off... A little bit of green, you know what I mean. Yes, it makes a world of difference. And there it is, Japanese gyoza. Some of the shapes have turned out well, some have not so much, but I hope it packs a punch. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. That's great. And Hassan, did you make your own gyoza pastry? Yeah, did. I did. I couldn't come here today and prepare gyoza without making the gyoza wraps. I was so impressed that Hassan made all of that himself. 10 out of 10 for that starter for me. You probably were anticipating maybe I would cook something from my Turkish heritage, but I've chosen not to do that because cooking lots of stuffed vine leaves is such hard work and takes so much time. Are we not worth the time it takes to stuff a vine leaf, Hassan? <laughs> I've not done it for my family or friends either, so you, you've not been left out or treated any differently. <laughs> yeah, he can't be bothered with his nearest and dearest either. If I get invited round the Josie, maybe I'll bring round some stuffed vine leaves. That was delicious. Yeah. I could eat that good. again. Yeah, me too. You're being yeah. too kind. I'm not being too kind. If you no, bring me another no. four, I'll eat them. You wouldn't, cos I'd fight you for them. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. I, I loved it. I could have eaten another two or three platefuls. With the gyoza getting the most honourable of receptions, talk turns to holidays. How do you like your travel? Is it all inclusive or do you like a little bit of adventure? I'm adventure. I never ever do an all inclusive. I'm single and I, I choose all exclusive so I can be safe. I was on holiday by myself in a lift. You holidayed in a lift? and the lady pulled her husband aside, away from me. Why did the husband get pulled away from you? Well, because, I don't know, she must have thought, oh, there's someone by herself on holiday. I have, more than once, come across women who've acted as if I seem to be a threat to their husbands. The woman that pulled him away, I would say, just doesn't trust her husband. I wouldn't, we wouldn't do all-inclusive. Although when we go on a cruise, that's the ultimate all-inclusive. I love a cruise. I like my five-star at least. I used to like organising my own holidays. I'd be very meticulous. I'd have an Excel spreadsheet telling me exactly where I need to be and where to go. But that's because I don't want to miss out on anything. Uh, I love an Excel spreadsheet. Tells me what I need to do when. I think I've nailed the starter and I'm hoping to do a repeat performance with the main. Hassan heats his kimchi. I'm worried the guests might think that the kimchi is a bit spicy. Spit up. Yeah, that'll be the whole plate of spices you chucked in. It's not clever, you know. He then boils up his shop-bought ramen. I didn't make my own noodles. I'm not sure it's a cheat. It would have been nice to make the effort. Noodles drained, they're mixed with the kimchi. Using a one-cup plastic utensil is the traditional way of serving kimchi. You mean you forgot your big spoon? Let that Asian taste sensation continue. Fire blankets at the ready. It's kimchi time. Oh, yeah, that'll cool it down. So the kimchi is uh, fermented cabbage. Shall we dig in and try it? Yeah. Mm. It smells gorgeous. Yeah, it does it have a good. Yeah. <coughs> it's got oh. a hell of a kick. Yes. Yeah, that, so I do like it. That is <laughs> really spicy. spicy. So I'm, <laughs> I thought Rod might be able to get away with it because of the Trinidadian curry and chickpea. <clears throat> it's, and mine wasn't as spicy as this. <laughs> it's burning me inside. <laughs> <laughs> do you like the dish? Uh, 
Am I it's right a right? challenge. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Almost made my eyes bleed. Hassan, are you sweating? I, I am sweating, <laughs> but I, I don't... <laughs> it's quite it's quite hot. I like a bit of spice, I like a bit of kick, but when the man who makes it is sweating into his own napkin... It's like my own personal sauna here. <laughs> I'd, I'd like to be standing under a waterfall now. You can, my back. <laughs> now there's an image. Now I've got the ratio of water and kimchi a bit pear-shaped, and I made it a little hotter than normal. You think? Who's finding it a challenge? There's something about the idea of it being fermented that is just on my mind. Oh, I see. I think the word fermenting kind of uh, put Josie off a little bit. Not my sort of main. Let's just hope your Thai dessert is no laughing matter. Hassan scoops out his chilled mango sticky rice. Wow, that does look sticky. This is stickier than a stick I found in a park the other day. And you don't get much stickier than that. On goes the coconut cream and there it is. Cold rice pudding from the Far East. As part of the Asian taste sensation. Asian <laughs> taste sensation. Thank you. Nice, thank you. I've never had coconut cream before. Um, yeah, it tastes really coconutty. That's reassuring. I have to admit, though, <laughs> um, I have an aversion to rice pudding. When I put it in my mouth, I actually go gag a little bit. Maintain a serene face while you're eating it. That make me happier. It's the texture. Mm. It's just the texture. Good spot for swallowing it. <laughs> I normally like rice pudding, Hess, but um, I just don't like the texture of this one. OK. And the fact that it's cold. Uh, I like to have it a little bit more sugary as well. So why didn't we? <laughs> the, um... <laughs> I think there's some sort of self-sabotage here going on. <laughs> and um, I'm trying to work out the reasoning behind it. Your guess is as good as mine. Home time! Our wedding was covered by um, seven magazines. Wow! wow. We were getting married in a castle, the Castle de Bill Bill. We had uh, over 300 to 400 guests for the day, and it was clocking 600 at night. So it was like a royal wedding, but Spanish version. No, it was too camp to be royal, <laughs> darling, please. <laughs> it was like a royal wedding, it really was. It was a fabulous day, wasn't it? Dave and Terry is obviously then celebrity are really well known in Spain. Like... We had four of the most successful nightclubs and cabaret bars across Marbella, Puerto Banus and oh. Benal Madina. Don't be modest, Terry. That's amazing. It was a bit cool, was wasn't it? it? Yeah. Was it? Was it? Go on, I'm cleaning it down. I loved it! <laughs> more like it. She can come across as a bit harsh, but actually, you know, her and David, they wear the heart on the sleeves. OK, so it's our last night, guys. What was your very first impression of each other as couples? My first impression of you two was, like, very pretty blonde, like, look like Spice Girl. Yeah, so I was yeah. thinking... Very trendy. Maybe oh. young blonde. Charming. Obviously, meeting you, yeah. you're both driven, like, successful, yeah. surpassed everything that I, my first impression was, like, and some more. We did, obviously, think that you're just really quiet. And I remember the first night, I was like, <laughs> that's so quiet. I think the four Vision. of us have kind of brought you out of your shell a bit more. I <laughs> thought that I'm an extrovert, you know, but you guys are, like, levels <laughs> up, like, yeah. scraping you off the ceiling. Not <laughs> I could not believe that they thought we, we were quiet. Probably <laughs> maybe about me a little bit, but... Well, yeah, I know. Well, not you. I thought you were quite loud until we got involved in the, with these lot. <laughs> when we first walked sort of down the stairs, I seen Terry and I thought, oh my God. And then, honestly, I cannot believe how lovely you both are. Yeah. Like, David, yeah. so charming. Yeah. And Terry, you are just a, yeah, such a God, character. Me off again. Like yeah. I think we've made friends we'll stay with for the rest of our lives oh, now. I think definitely. they'll be our friends. Thank you very much, guys. That You're was welcome. Delicious. You're welcome. Cheers, darling. <laughs> Do you want me to tell you why I want to win it? Go on, then. Why? Because I'm old. And they're all young, and they've got years in front of them, and I've never won anything. Out come the scones, scones and cream. You must press in. It's going to have to be on your fingers. No, I just don't want to press into the cream. No, it's horrible. How can bloody cream be horrible, David? It's just... I don't like it. I just don't like pressing it all, all my fingers into the food. Now, now! Groovy. Groovy, baby. Yes, indeed. There it is. Groovy strawberry shortcake. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh. oh, yes. Our dessert <laughs> is um, strawberry shortcake, which in England is technically a scone. Mm. So knock yourself out, kids. Thank you.
That was a tip top dessert. Absolutely bang on. Yeah. Dessert. Oh, I didn't really do it. It was for me. vended. I tried to eat as much as I could. It, the cream was tasty, but at the end of the day, it's just cream. Well, if you can't eat it, why not wear it? <laughs> 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 Please. Mind the walls! I don't normally have a food fight on the table. No, we don't normally allow that, do we? I, well, I don't normally allow people to actually touch the furniture. No. As I always say, it's not a home, it's a showpiece. Time for the scores. Terry and David need 29 or more to win. It's been a great atmosphere tonight. Besides the main, the other two courses have been a bit hit and miss. So for that reason, we're going to give David and Terry a 14. 14. So tonight's been a relaxed night, it's been a nice atmosphere and the food's been all right, so we're going to give a... Hold it right there, let's all find out together. <laughs> Third place is... Third place is... Andrew and Victoria. In second place... Carly and Kira. First place, David and Terry. Victoria and Andrew scored them 16. Completely... Physically speechless. I thought for the first time ever. I thought it was going to be the girls. Then I thought it was going to be Ali. I, I, I just, I'm just. Well deserved. Oh, David and Terry deserve to win. They're just so lovely and so down to it. Oh, darling. Oh, well deserved. Only slightly got it to be fair. Yeah. Like I feel like tonight it was great yeah. and they, they deserve. They, they did amazing last. Winners. We only want you to do it to meet some friends. Oh, <laughs> oh, have my friends then. Yeah, exactly. The only thing I could think of is tomorrow I could buy those shoes. No. Oh, God, no. Oh, I can. <laughs> <laughs>